Okay, who wants to give me the uh, the rundown, the slam jam, Rika Kaka Capo? Uh, I, I can do it. All right, lay it on me. <clears throat> to give to those what they need to shape the world the way they see fit. It seems to me that those who can see haven't deemed themselves fit to shape the world. A stone metaphor to a crystal key to prismatic dust to a shard of memory, to an orange flash, to a lesson in the mind of a dead man who walks towards his fate. Let us both be once again derelict in our self-assuaged roles as servants of memory. Oaz Kadan breathes once again. The brass baron plays with himself in our presence, his tongue swordplay fighting the ghosts of his worries in, our, in his mind. I humor him with my time. The Baron deserves the land he stands on. His grieves and disbelief that they too are not being carried. The ground beneath begs to explain itself. Laza paints pictures of me in his mind. He shares them with me, staunch in his belief that the picture painted with his words and myself are one and the same. The world shapes itself as it sees fit. Malthus, Watcher. Actor. Day unknown, year unknown. Marla will place the journal entry on top of all the other ones in the stone sanctuary, as is the requirement, and he will leave. All right, well done. That was really good. Here's a nothing for you. <laughs> <laughs> you have so have much joy saying that. Four inspiration saved. <laughs> Hopefully, I can Just wad more. them together into a large ball and throw it at the matron. <laughs> Ooh, you got one more kill five. You, you get all your punches in. Nice. Okay, so, slamming. Let's go over it. We were going to catch uh, Captain Cotter before he escaped. Okay. Well, before he went on his travel, we had we had something for him. Okay. Mr. Gold, would you like to do the honors? Hold on, let me load up your. <laughs> let me load Loading up let the me, sanctuary. Let me, let me load up uh, Marlo's hookah hut. Hookah <laughs> hut. The hot box. The hot hookah hut. Hookah hut juniors. So hookah hot. hut juniors. <laughs> <laughs> Marlo would totally be in hookah hut junior. <laughs> what a lovely circle we've made. <clears throat> uh, yes, I was summoned. Uh, I would have given Nar the crown so that she may present it. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Carter, as was part of our deal earlier, that we would be giving you the forges within the Muascadam. Unfortunately, as things have developed and the situation has changed, I have realized that we cannot hold a neutral standing uh, with the other forces in the area. If we were to give full soul hold of these forges to you. Carter will we frown at that. I was led to believe that you would be people of your word. I do not wish to make this decision lightly, which is why we have decided to gift you and any men who bear your arms the same sanctuary within our walls, but as well as Nara will present the Crown of Command artifact. This, which will be a new symbol of the estate, as well as two of the lesser forges and a greater forge to your name and your blood. Mr. Gruel, sir, um, the forges are public property. Their use was to be 
maintained and given to the Metharians. But more importantly, are there going to be people of your contingent who stay behind to man them? It was my intention to leave perhaps a skeleton crew to keep watch and to assist you with defending this place. I was to go to the Pale City in order to report in. After all, now that you've become a political entity, uh, you'll need to be tended with. And of course, also to report what I know of Metheria's discovery. And uh, also to elicit a force to aid me in order to go and retrieve her body. Corpse. Person. He'll kind of shake his head. Whatever she is now. You have uh, intelligence that we lack about uh, what lies beyond the gate in the demon wastes. I'm not familiar with the place. Well, the demon wastes earned its name. It is a wasteland choked with demonic filth and corruption. Breathing the very air there can cause one's own body to slowly shift into that of demon kind. With the appropriate sensors, salts, prayers, purifications, one can make the journey. And indeed, uh, one who is stout could even resist the corruption themselves. But there is also the ever-present th threat of demon kind, hungry and angry at its imprisonment. There is no world in which the journey across the demon waste is easy, and one I can perform on my own. I would need a either sizable force or a highly skilled one. I am intending to seek such help within the Pale City. I do hope that I can find some ever-present faithful. Perhaps even Lightborn adventurers. Looks at Cameron. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the securing of the gate is of our utmost interest, as it helps secure this neutral zone and a path for maybe people who use it. Perhaps people from the wall or people stuck in the demon wastes as well as the other gates so that it is of utmost priority to us to secure that. I hope that we can um, both further our mutual interest and that I could be there to take record of your encounter. But uh, I believe that is now something that will be in due time rather than uh, soon. I had hoped to be able to go with my to my people with the promise that the forges would be of Metharian make. That your arms and armor produced by them would go towards her cause. That would be up to those creating the arms and armor. I suggest that you leave your smiths, perhaps those, uh, inclined <laughs> as many as you can to man the forges um your status in the city is uh, of a great esteem so your uh name presence those who fight under you uh, would be associated with that and therefore the forges however if the place was empty it would be difficult for uh, the other guests here accessing those public works to be um, undeterred. What did I say? Very well. Then I shall leave my retinue behind in order to ensure that Metheria's interests are protected. I shall see that they follow your edicts, as was stated. I suppose I will make the journey on my own. It'll be easier that way. Less conspicuous. If there's anything you need from us uh, prior to your departure, please let us know. And uh, please take this crown as well. It's a symbol of accomplishment in Moazgadan. 
and a piece of it for yourself. He will take the crown, but he won't put it on. He'll place it on his belt. I thank you for the gift. Marlo looks to Gruel, gives him a nod. Nods, nods, all around. Gives Neil nod. Hold on, I need to uh, check something. I want to make sure my I didn't fuck up the timeline stuff. Oh no, it's coming. Which responses have you received, Luke? Um, I believe I've received all of them. All of them? Okay. Yeah, on my end, um, I have received all of them. The, there's a few that haven't been received. I think coffees is the one that's that's hung up. That's uh, that's supposed that, that's supposed all... to be the case. So that's fine. yeah. But, yeah, let's go on mine. But okay, in that case, okay, good. That means this would have. Make sure you guys are with the timeline here. Double check. Uh, check my dates. Timelines are converging. Step back. <laughs> what? Why are you doing that, Mr. Chrome? <laughs> Look, there's a rock that kind of looks like me in that direction. Just a yeah. feeling in your soul, huh? Yeah. So I have, Something, I something's calling me that way. I like this rock over here because it, uh, because it kind of looks like a guy on a skateboard. Just to make yeah. sure I'm not losing my fucking mind, you guys have not received the word of the Pell City yet, have you? No. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes, and it's all coming together, and I didn't fuck up. Steeples. This one here looks like an elephant. Good. Oh, this one looks like an elephant. Good. Of course. Oh not. yeah, that does too. Why are so, so many, many elephants, elephants in these pictures, Marlo? <laughs> Something looks you want to tell Martha us? Martha looks at Marlo. <laughs> looks at the elephants in the room. <laughs> so many elephants in this room. If this okay. one's an elephant seen from above. <laughs> You've seen me naked. Oh, this is the... Uh, Actually, wait, no, you haven't. This is the scene of the elephants... Uh, of an elephant kind of standing over a group of people, a specific kind of people. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Possibly oh, prophetic. Like a poor drawn elephant. Yeah. If Lurker were here, he could tell you what kind of people. But unfortunately, yeah, but unfortunately, this one over here oh, looks uh, like uh, I should... Mr. Swig when he's a monkey. <laughs> I should probably explain why Lurker isn't here. Uh, he got really drunk. He has had a happened. good time with his work battles. And he lost a lot of hair, too. He's bald now. Yeah, he got his head I'm shaved. I'm really drunk. I'm here right now. What are you talking about? Look at the art of Suig. He's just matching for his cosplay. Exactly the same. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so. In that case, uh, when the conversation comes to a close, Arda will give a nod, and then will turn to leave the Stone Sanctuary. When someone enters, walk in the light of wisdom, Carter. A good trick. Entered. Go. Gotta put my helmet on. Let me. Let me go see which one of your staff members would do this. Let's let's do row. Row feels like a. Oh shit! Someone's here. Gotta go get the uppers. Okay. okay. <laughs> An individual comes waddling into the stone chambers. My lord. <gasps> My lord. Uh, Sir Buttermilk, are you okay? I, I have dire news, my lord. Oh, it is. It's the pale city. It's it's under attack. What? What? Explain yourself. What? I've only heard Neatray say a rumor, but our scouts reported a flash of white fire far towards the pale city. I've also received a sending from a few of my spot friends that are in the area. They report that the city is under attack. Set a flame from within. I. 
What is, what is what is the intelligence? What are they under attack by, exactly? It is unclear, my lords. It seems to be some kind of... Aberration. From what one of them was able to tell me. Aberration? What kind of aberration? Just something with tentacles, as far as I know. Do you have the color of the uh, aberration by any chance? I'm sorry, my lord. No such report. Thank you. He will give an uh, awkward bow. And he will... I will return if I have any updates. Much appreciated. Good. He will awkwardly leave as uh, uh, Captain Carter is molding slash seething. An attack upon my home. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Gather yourself, Captain. Get your men. He will shake his head. No. I've made a promise. I am to see that my end is held up. Besides, without the forges, we won't be able to recover from our battle in Mornhal anyway. But I cannot simply ignore my... I must make haste to the Pale City. How many men do you have left? Forty back in at my call. I was going to leave them here to watch the forges. Forty. Yes. Here. And you're taking no one? I intended not to. <sighs> Would it be quicker uh for you to travel from the ice under to the Pale City? Perhaps. Do you know where... What, do you speak of the gates? Yes. I... He'll look a shortcut. A, he'll look a little... Uh... Not okay with that. We have no idea what's waiting on the other side of these gates. No, we have it, It's no faster, idea. but he there's will, no guarantee. He'll shake it off and he'll say, So be it. What? Speed is of the essence. I... <clears throat> I would like to put forward real quick that it was said to be a dangerous location, but it will get you months closer, at least. Indeed. I must make my way there as quickly as possible. It is bad enough that crossing the ice flows at this time would be quite difficult, but I think I still have an old friend in Dead Man's Flow that might be able to give me passage to the southern peninsula. Or to the southern coast. I could take my route there, go north of Downfrown, and I could cross over to the King's Road. That would take me to the heart of the Pale City as quickly as possible. Very well. That would, uh... That could, that could push our hand as well. We could go with you. We stay at the gate. We clear the gate for Moaz Kadan. And any return anyone would need. You could exit. We take the gates and we return here, and you make your way to the Pale, pale City. Mr. Marlowe is right. As formidable as you are yourself, you're better with people to work with you. If... How long would it take to your... Um... Knowledge, if you call up that old friend to get to the Pill City? My journey would go from several months to a matter of days before I'm in the Pale City. Hmm. That's hmm. much better. Would you give us, um... Would you give us five days? That way we can, um... clear out our current negotiations with the Brass Baron. We can set our city to be maintainable in the time being, and then we can go with you to the gate, clear it out from the other end. So be it. If you believe it to be, around. if you believe it to be the easiest way, and that you are certain that the gate can open, I would rather get started immediately. But if it means that you will assist me and will give me the highest chance of success, 
the least amount of time spent. Five days for the potential uh, change from months to days is probably worth it either way, yes? At least we could owe you at I this should. Point. I can also use this time to prepare as well. Mm. I'll set my men up, use what time to establish logistics, perhaps even a makeshift shrine to Metheria, and I'll make my own preparations. Five days, then. I shall return it... here. He will give a salute. Mm. Okay. Well, I will tip my hat. That he will crisp turn about, about face, and he will. Okay. Light of wisdom, my friend. Walk in the light of wisdom. All right. Uh, I think. Looks towards everyone. Uh, Calorie. Most likely. Mm. Or a lock and eye. Mm. But one and the same, as presumably at this point. Yeah. As much as I would like to think upon this, I think our bigger deal is that we still have yet to actually activate the gate yet. I think we're going to have to speed that up now. Mm. Uh, I guess we... Laza probably... will speak up. Is the gate not active? Laza will speak up. I can certainly attune to it, and, well, I can focus the energies to make sure that it remains stable. I would have to remain here, but I'm sure you intended that as me to act as your regent. Mm. I? Yes. Yeah. I'm afraid okay. it'll just be us going this time. But uh, that might be the case for the other gates as well. Okay, don't worry, I'm this going with gives you us as well. One to begin with. Hey. I'm bald. Well, <laughs> hey, we I'm also... bald over here. Uh, <clears throat> should we also uh, call in the new friend uh, that Swig made in our previous fight. She should be able to assist us. Ha, no, no, I ain't doing that. It's just I mean, very upset the entire time she was here. I might not make the I think uh, she, uh, check. <laughs> yeah, I think she outlevels all. I can bring in Weepawack. Yeah, if, if we brought in Weepawack, would she be able to assist? Oh, no, mm. plus she'd be distracting to... Hello. <laughs> I, think, I don't know what you're talking about. I think <laughs> Weeplewalk needs better gear. She comes in, she swings True. a hammer once, and then she's gone. <laughs> I don't know what you're you talking about. You think Weeplewalk needs better gear? Yes. I also, the rest of us. I certainly season. need more better gear if we're going to do something crazy like this. But All of us are like, we need better gear, but we don't have money for better gear. Especially um, if we're dealing with Tellery. Well, we're not. We're not. Him, we're not plus. dealing with Tellery. We're dealing with the Ice Hunter. Yes, we're just securing the ice under. So good. Mm -hmm. In any case, wouldn't hurt to get oh. something. Maybe we can we can search the forges. Maybe maybe somebody a long time ago left something really good just sitting around. Well, the ice under is likely to have the ice under is likely to have supplies if it's containing a gate in and of itself. They would mm. need. Perhaps. Uh, there's there's no guarantee of that, but that that is None. a hopeful proposition. I, I suggest we take at least stuff. two weeks worth of rations apiece. Mm. Maybe uh, get ourselves some enough equipment to make the journey. We take the gate back. I don't foresee us staying there for any extended period of time, other than to either lay claim or fight off whatever's on the other side. Nor mutters to herself, "There was that hammer that was in the." Safe box. Uh, <laughs> uh, Laza, do you have any understanding of the Baygate's uh, usage? Is it instant, or is there a travel we have to go through through the Fey lands? I believe it is instantaneous. Or it should be, at least. These are ancient gates. Who knows what might happen? You might end up going on a short little trek through the Feywild, but I think that if I can focus the energies... If that would happen, I would be able to limit your exposure to the other plane. Or at the very least, get you there instantaneously. Mm. Sounds good. Uh, Mr. Laza, um, as we're making this particular journey, and and it's going to be quick, uh, I think I will take you up on, on those sendings to my parents, perhaps? Even for whatever's going on in the Pale City, if I can get them out of there, that would be 
for the best. Um, twenty-five words is that is that right? Yes. Okay, I will. I will. I will write something up. Um, I'm gonna take a minute. Breakfast has about eighty-one days worth of rations for the three lives. Oh shit! Oh wow! Yeah. Oh yeah! That'll be perfect then. Second breakfast included. Oink! Oink! <laughs> um. All right. I guess we'll spend what the five days. Oh no! We have to talk to the Baron real quick, right before we leave. Was that something we wanted to do? Um. Yes. We should finalize our agreement with the Baron. Um, uh, how did you want to go about that? Do you want to do the, the three months thing where he competes with other people? Yes. In the time being, they're under the purview of... They're being used by the artisans of Matheria. Um, yeah. Three months out from now, we have to reassess the situation and see oh. uh, how the board plays out. If you'd like, what Mr. Marlowe, I can handle the discussions with the Brass Baron. I mean, I saw how he handled the other discussions. You've proven yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do we need any supplies ourselves? Anyone need anything that's quick and easy off the market? Um, mm. Well, we'll look at his... Uh... Tattered hag hex leather, leather. Be like, I could probably get rid of this and get something different. Other than that, I think I'm good. Hi, you really have been wearing that this whole but, time. <laughs> I've, had, I've been rocking 14 AC this entire time. <laughs> well, I have I have good news um, for that. Do not spend money on any armor, Marlo. Hmm. Oh yeah, his your you have your familiar. No, 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 no. There's a uh, there's a bit of RP with uh, Ezekite coming up. So, oh, ah, sure. nice. okay. So just don't do it. I would like to spend some money on my armor, please. Marlo puts his shirt back on. <laughs> We're going Marlo, actually over his. Marlo well, hears God. Don't abs. spend money on armor. Puts shirt back on. <laughs> we've we've only got five days. Uh, don't expect crafting to go through. I've been wearing padded cloth this whole time so that my disguises could be concealed. Um, I might get I some studded armor for, for this. Uh, what? Did you say something, Marlo? One. Okay. Yeah, I was remarking about the, the boyhood of your uh, padded cloth. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I, 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 it was I, it was just rhetorical. Uh -huh. My apologies. I think Mr. Marlowe uses the word rhetorical when he means humorous. I hope so. <laughs> we, we um, that money. silence was so deep. <laughs> <laughs> that wow, the elephant man has thoughts. <laughs> We have more than enough money to get you some studded leather. I'm sure there's some around. Mm. That would be yes. ideal. In my size? Uh, Everything else has to be custom, usually. Oh yeah, you're extremely small. I'm so small. Please don't step on me. Uh, I mean, this is dwarven build. I'm sure there's something in extra small. This... <laughs> <laughs> this... This is... This is this is Laza, <laughs> and this is this this is this is Marlo. Yep. 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 My favorite ASCII facial expression. <laughs> Except those aren't tears; those are just his tattoos. It's, it's it's the it's the corners of the mouth. It's the uh, glory suffer smile. <laughs> ah, yes, glory is suffering. I was very happy with my long nose. Wait, gotta fix that. Hang on. Uh, mm -hmm. 
I was thinking about buying a there we go. leather with uh, on hollow tier four off the market. Oh yeah, we do have the black market right now. I don't have money. <laughs> uh, yep. I have five grand in gold pieces. <laughs> I have enough for my armor. God so dang. I'll probably buy that. Somebody's been banditing it up, man. I'm just going to buy some. I've um, stolen from a lot of people. I've stolen from a lot of houses that have been vacant. <laughs> hey, about $32 <laughs> in Walmart gift cards. <laughs> $32 in Walmart We have uh, several empty pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Marlo uh, plays the game seconds from homelessness at any time. <laughs> A racer's edge. <laughs> Mile. Uh, oh, actually, is there any potions Swig can make? In five <sighs> days? What kind of potions you want, man? Like, I can make anything, man. You just tell me, bro. Que paso, eh? Que paso. Que paso, eh? Paso potions. Uh, <laughs> we get some, like, heroism and stuff? Hey, you know, heroism, eh? The potion, eh? You got five days. Seco. <laughs> Cinco Dios. Looks looks at Spanish speaking people. Did I say it right? <laughs> Did I? Cinco Dios. I think that means five days. Folks, not enough. How many do you want? Uh, how many? How many do you make? want? How many can you make in How five days? How many do you want? As many as you can make in five days. What, heroism potions? You got any money? Yeah. How much money do you got? Probably not enough. Yeah, probably not, you fuck. Look, we, have an <laughs> Look, we own a city, alright? It doesn't matter what's in my pocket. You want a heroism potion? What does it take to craft? I just give you one. No, oh, do you still have one? Yeah, I don't oh, drink these things. Oh, cinco dias. Uh, mucho <laughs> es basititos. Besos. I think he's Des having a stroke again. Basitos? Despacito. <laughs> Slap. And game bone. You know, Marlo will hand you a heroism potion. <laughs> to hopefully quell the neurosis. <laughs> then we'll promptly walk away. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I've got a. Do you not want a heroism potion? <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, have one? Have I will take dream? that. No, I just had a sudden realization that my brother is in Hail City. <laughs> well, at least close to it. And she... I'm sorry. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> Go on. That's really interesting. Tell us more about your familia. Oh my fucking god. Familia means family. Looks at Spanish speaking people. Spanish. Thumbs up. <laughs> Man, I well, love my well, my people I love. Well, so great. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to write up a, a note for Laza to send to my brother. I'll, I'll get that to you in a moment. Okay, so what you want? You want me to make it? You got a heroism potion. You want something else? Uh, some health pots? Like, uh, what are we thinking about, huh? Oh, darling. I I got the hero. The hero. Oh, potion. all right then, fine. Piece of shit. <laughs> you I'm should uh, tend to your grove. Make sure it's not gonna collapse in like a month time. Eh, you're right. I should do that. <gasps> <laughs> Who's the climb tree? Yeah, I put two fucking smackers towards that thing. <laughs> that not fail. <laughs> two towards that thing. I put two fucking dollars. Mm -hmm. All right, two bands. I threw two bands out of the bit. I throw two bands. <laughs> two bands. Yo, so, oh, what was what was fucking ape again? Is it Kuro? Ma Makako? 
No, that's Portuguese. My God. <laughs> I was going to say, that didn't sound Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> what, is the, what is the Spanish one? Nipple pinchy? Oh. Nipple pinchy. It nipple must be that. Pinchy? Yo quiero <laughs> es nipple pinchy. <laughs> All right, he's just aping out back there. All right, what are you guys doing? I have a macaco in my casa. <laughs> macaco in my casa. <laughs> macaco in my casa. I, I can never get over how good Marlo's Portuguese pronunciation actually is. Crazy. I got he's so smooth. potions. I got healing potions. I got weapons that I no longer use because I can't. I, f I would love some poisons, but mm -hmm. I do not have any. Uh, maybe ask Carter for some holy water again? That seemed effective. Uh, against demons, but that's probably... Uh, we don't know if that's what we're fighting. We have uh, no idea. You heard tentacles and aberrations. Uh, we, did. So, we did. Holy water... Would do nothing. ...does not necessarily work to the same effectiveness. Now, it might, but, you know, sometimes... Mm. I also right. swayed pretty hard to go to the Pale City. Results may um, vary. That's yeah. We're not going that far. Really taking a leap away from securing this place. So yeah. I don't think we need any need we're to securing. fight whatever they're fighting. Yeah. We're, There's we're, a we're lot making of a pale city for... between us and them. Yeah. We're clearing the gate. Yeah. There's a lot of pale city between us. And them. Yeah, but you're not them. That no, I don't want to. Every six hours, be like, stop, criminal scum. Oh, <laughs> 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 <Halt, laughs> criminal scum! Yeah. Okay, like, <laughs> Look, I know I'm a sorcerer. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> We're here to buy rations, right? What kind of um, what kind of poisons are available? Do we have Do we have like a market for that? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, what, what, what do we got? What, what do we got that's cool? Well, how much money do you have? So I don't read you off the whole list for no reason. <laughs> I have nothing, but we have a whole city worth of money. Technically, but, <laughs> That's not... you know, we're a city full of people who have their own money. Waymaker! <laughs> Start shaking it! How much money do you have? I might do it! I might do it if I need to. Will you to. donate your grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> it's for the girl cause. Uh, a, good, a good cause. Uh, have you heard of the Death Horse? <laughs> what, what is our current population? Do we have 50... Because on the notice is 15,000. Do we have 15,000 people? What? No, you have... I think it was like 1,000 some, wasn't You it? have, I've got the population uh, right here. You have 1,513 population points, which is people. We, we're on, we should have one roll after that if we're on month three. Yes, yes, you have. that you was have, the end of month two. Yeah, yeah, you have another roll during this five-day period. So I have to do that. Okay. And then I'll do your gold upkeep. And then you guys can decide what to do with your, but so just tell me what you're going to do with this five days of downtime. I'll determine how much wealth you have. Um, and then we'll do build off of that. And then uh, we'll do the uh, as a kind scene, which is kind of important. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about just making sure that everybody within their tier of society is good to run self-sufficiently for the month. Okay. Then let me just do the rolls then. Let's see, where did I put my recruit? Uh, notes? Quick question. I know I can wear anointed stuff because that just blocks magical damage, right? Uh, yeah, but there are other sources of magical blocking than just anointed, like profane, yeah. for example. You could wear bad guy armor. Hmm. Oh yeah, I've totally forgot. Profane. You could also you could also wear axiomatic stuff, which is, you know, the Barrow King stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. I'll be. I'll. I'll. I'll take it all my money. Okay. Let's roll see. to see. Okay, I got some. Got some rolls to make. First, we're gonna roll for a population increase. Population increase is gonna be. Sorry, I got a lot of scrolling to do. The bear, that's right. The brass baron is here, so his presence alone increases uh, recruitment. Take take honor for me, uh, Winter. 
Oh, thanks. Yeah. I'll buy two of those then. Okay, there we go. So that would be... Ooh, that's a big roll. You gained 1,114 people. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you remember the two people that died? <laughs> <laughs> I took note of that. I, I think I have to do the wiki. Yeah, <laughs> two people. Okay, let's see. Three ones and a four. Okay. okay. So that Forget to carry the two. Gotta carry the two. What are we doing? Multiplication here? <laughs> Got a roll for markets. The brass baron is here, so that gives us. Two thousand six hundred twenty seven. Oh, I can't. Really? That's crazy. Huh. You can't do more than 999 in Foundry. Hmm. That's wild. Okay, then I'll just do 10% of that. I know how to get around your magic numbers. Ooh. And then... All right. Uh, did anyone else have stuff they wanted, or are we trying to save up? Uh, saving up. Look at crafting again. I have wonderful news. Oh? You guys made profit. Hooray! We did. That's a first. Yep. You made a profit of 255 gold. Yay. Put it into the city. Yay! Ooh, We're moving up in the world, people. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's self-sustaining. That's, that's good. Uh, how long would it take to have Belfrost take away feasting, keep paired, and put on Axiomatic? You'd have to build it from scratch. Yeah, I know that. How long would it take? More than five days guaranteed? Absolutely. Alright, never mind. Yeah, we don't have any of the forges active to reduce craft time. How about... Oh, never mind, I can't. Can I pair my weapon with someone else? With something else? Have to be remade from the beginning. Gotcha. Never mind. Hmm. Wait. 
What if I did that the other way? Oh. It's one thing I kind of want, but I don't have any money. What you need? I kind of want an anointed robe. That's easy enough. That's I only mean, like 200 bucks. It's like, uh, it's anointed mana weave? Robe? Sorry, not anointed. Uh, is mana weave the one that gives you AR? Mana weave gives oh, you yeah. AR, but it's only physical AR. So if you wanted it to also be magic AR, yeah. you'd have to I put anointed as well. Uh, hang on, let me look at that. We are fighting. I'm not used to crafting before, so give me a second. Uh, oh, wait, I think for you... is one. Mana wave is four. Yeah. Yeah, having both of those would be nice. How much that? How much? Uh, tier. How much like that? Tier to five. Get? Tier five. That's a thousand six hundred. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll take a thousand. Go ahead. Just take a thousand. Just take it. Yeah. Go ahead. I already subtracted from it myself. Nice. Do you want a silver robe? Uh, uh, I mean, he just gave her the money, which might be upscaled a little bit because we have to buy it off the market. But I mean, that's all. If if these things are even in the market, we'll have to check. Silver Road just There's lowers and exposure at the end. end. Yeah. Well, who's asking one of these motherfuckers to pay a man weave? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, one of these citizens. Well, that's that's the that's kind of like the the overview of the market. Is is you're basically saying, hey, does anyone have this? If you guys I mean, want to buy it from the market, you can. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. If there's base market price for anointed mana weave, that so you, would be true. So you want an anointed mana weave robe? Yeah. What is that, tier <laughs> four? Five, I think, if you combine the two tiers. Well, you're supposed to. But... Okay, so yeah, that would be tier five. So it's tier yeah. five? All right, market is... value of tier five is 1,600 gold. Did you Here, buy that for Give me one, too. Yep. Okay. I already subtracted. If if you don't want that, I can uh, take it back, I guess. <laughs> now it just uh, feels the pain of someone else buying things for her. She's like, the most expensive thing I ever bought was like 300 bucks. Am I really no, that can you, poor? <laughs> can you give me one, too? Uh, you want one, too? Uh, I, I got the gold. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, uh is it six? Is it uh, sixteen hundred? Sixteen hundred. Don't yeah. Don't buy armor. Don't buy armor. Isn't it? Yeah, is hold it on. A robe. Well, robe Does is armor. Over? Robe is. Armor. It is armor. It yeah. takes your armor slot. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's called armored robe. It's the yeah. It's a new uh, like, armor. Where do I now? The... I've been fucking up by wearing the silvered robe with the hag hag's leather armor. No, bards can wear uh, light armor. I mean, I've been oh. wearing two: the robe over the armor. Oh. That is, yeah, that, that's wrong. But that's whatever. It's fine. That's that's what you had. Yeah, told I, I don't think I've really used. The, that's been that's armor. been corrected like since then. But at the time, you were like letting people wear uh, robes over things. That okay, had, so like, so property. there's two different types of robes. There's there's armored robes, and then there's magic robes. Armored robes have AR access, and they fucking take mm -hmm. the armor slot. Oh, that's, okay. So the armor giving robes takes the armor ch yeah. chest piece slot. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll put my clothes back on again. <laughs> just stripping Marlo, stop stop stripping something very um, cool is coming if we if we did want to to can i can i put a flux on one of my weapons please you'll have to reconstruct it from the very beginning oh well, yeah or or just buy another one yeah but, you could just um, buy a flux one yeah yeah okay um what tier just, just first tier, because uh, the the point would be having something for my um, for my uh, oh, what do you call it? Friggin' ah, uh, the 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 mundane thing that that does artificial extra damage. Potency? That's the one. Yeah, I don't know. I was blanking so hard on that. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that way, even if I didn't put a potion, uh, a poison on it, it would still. Okay. Well, if you not... want that, um. A basic fluxed item is tier two, which is two hundred mm -hmm. gold. It's like so, two hundred gold. So, what kind of flux do you want? 
I borrow two hundred gold to get a um uh like a lightning flux uh, rapier. Flux. Yeah. Volt flexed rapier. Volt, got it. You remember those uh, masterwork serrated, uh, dripping whatever fucking pair I, of I, daggers I, I gave you? I have them. Uh, they are less effective than a rapier, a regular rapier in my hands because I'm a weeping blade. Well, you could just sell those. Instead I of could sell those. That's true. Room. That's uh, true. I could sell those. Is there any radiant flux we ha have access to? Negative. All right, I'm just making sure. But plus, I don't think we should hold radiant weapons. That seems like a bad idea. How much would I get for um for two serrated, hollowed daggers? Oh, you mean Marlo's affection? Um, yeah, Marlo's affection. I'm gonna sell them. Pretty priceless, actually. Uh, for uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. Is what I already have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he did. I, I, I presumed when I gave them to you that you were going to give them away. So I Listen, I've, was mad I, at you. I've used them twice. Uh, they they uh, got you. What, what, you. what tier are they? Uh, they are... I think they're... Um, dang it. Let me, let me look here. Um, so, okay. I gotta go to the crafting thing so that I can figure it out. Uh... Let's see serrated. What tier would be axiomatic be? I believe it's the same as anointed. If I remember correctly. Um, right, Arcadum. What? Uh, anointed is the same thing as uh, axiomatic. Well, not quite. They they, they both prevent. So, <clears throat> I mean, like, tier wise. No, axiomatic is um, is the same level as hollowed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Let me subtract yeah. that then. Cool, cool. They're tier three. Gotcha. They're tier three. You said okay. Yeah. That means you can get two hundred gold for both of them. Sweet. For the pair. Okay. And I will oh, turn no, around oh, and. For, for. For each of them is what I meant. Yeah. Oh. Oh, cool. All right, so I get I get 200, and then I'll spend one of the daggers on another rapier that is, uh, well, fluxed. Cool. But a good. Yeah, that would be thing. sick if you just had, like, four rapiers on each side. Each one did yeah. a different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Actually, uh, that's tempting. That'd be cool that's as fuck. Really just aesthetically speaking. As a man oh, of aesthetics, yeah. I have to say, that's a good decision. I, I might have to get head. I might have to get a, a third rapier uh for the other two hundred and make it um anybody anybody remember Calogen? Calogen enjoyer? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a fire flexed one she as had, well. Man. Yeah. She had three swords on her back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was that wife? No, that's I oh, know that was that's no. uh, Beatorix. <laughs> that's Beatorix, yeah. Uh, I will I will pick up an axiomatic uh, battle axe. So. I'm a college in with three battle axes. All I've needed this whole time is oh, a man so weave this... robe. <laughs> oh, okay. So this faction oh, feat gosh. is actually very valuable. Which faction uh, feat? Uh, the Barrow King would makes all of your stuff axiomatic. I thought it was just yes, the tier one. It's nothing. very good. <laughs> No, no, I thought they were all the tier one, like anointed no. level. I didn't realize they were hollowed. Well, they're not Ooh. hollowed. They're axiomatic. No. Yeah. Yes, yes. But they're all the right, same I'm... tier as hollowed. So I'm getting all this cool stuff, guys. Are we going to put that hammer that I saw in the vault to use ever? Is it just going to stay in there? Uh, none of us are I'm hammered. Not users do you, do you have an idea for it i think it's fucking massive do you know how sm small nails are it's yeah. completely useless well i could give it to weeper weeper likes to whack things um sure, sure. i would say sure just don't let dwarves see her with it hmm. i think it's fine they'll probably just be confused I'm 
I mean, you don't really yeah. tend to have her around uh, that often. From all right, then. Well, that's because uh, I'm always worried about her. I know that she technically just gets resummoned every time, but I don't know. I worry about her. <laughs> did she did get her head pushed in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go arm Weeper and I go off to grab the father's hammer. <laughs> I don't even know if she's sentient. <coughs> You're not that's also normal. Normal. Ooh, That's I not fireflexed yet. Okay. Lend, lend it to her. So technically ours, just, you know. Lending. Yeah, state property. Uh... <laughs> What damage would be axiomatic? Would just be the same as your weapon die? No, it's 1d6. Oh, uh, the, the damage. Like, uh, the damage property. You mean what kind of damage is it? Yeah, what kind of damage, sorry. It's axiomatic. Lawful. It's, it's, it, no, no, it's, well, yes, it's lawful, but it's axiomatic. It's its own damage type. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I'll just label it as no damage, so cool. I understand it. Cool, cool, cool. Something to keep in mind is that, um, obviously, as it works with most of the uh, alignment based properties, axiomatic does not harm lawful creatures. Yep. Gotcha. Hmm. Nice. Oh, why is everyone gritting? Jesus. Chrome's over here practicing. <laughs> why are, why is just destroying the air in front of me? Should, should I be standing like five feet back so that you have room? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> yeah, it is. I totally forgot how hard Chrome hits. Oh, crit is. like a truck. My oh, there oh, it is again. There it is again. <laughs> he can't. Fucking shit. He can't stop, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Oh, that's correct. My goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't look at that, please. Uh, you see him like, like he's like fighting the uh, antho demon in his mind. Yeah, he's, whole time. He's shadow boxing. <laughs> yeah. so he's, he's back in the trenches. Somebody pull him out. His eyes just glazed over. He's like, Get out of here! He brings his axe down, shattering stone. Whoa, dude. Hey, hold up. I'll be it. Uh, I'll fix that. <laughs> we don't have, we don't have insurance for this one. <laughs> <We don't> <laughs> <laughs> we don't have insurance because we're the government. <laughs> oh fuck! There we go. Oh, oh my god! god. Right. Shit. Holy crap! Another okay, point. well, hey, I got it to work Man. now though. It'd <laughs> be crazy if, like, you know, we have a combat yeah. outside of the gate. Right. We just blow all these twenties. Shadow box. <laughs> we just keep these twenties. Or do just, just just stack them. Just, like, no, the matron of fate is mad at us. We you're can't do that. Shadow boxing. Oh yeah, we're ready. We're ready. You get out of there. Boom. Ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, you you uh you get artificial potency from actually magic on damage, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's why I wanted it. All right, I got to go pee pee. When I come back, we'll do the Azekind stuff. All right, sounds good. All right. Yeah. right wow. Oh, ooh. Nice. Ooh. God damn. Oh, All right. That was some power. <laughs> so, I realized Nar has needed mana weave her whole life. Yes. Yeah. And has never had the money for it. Yeah, well, just we're never finally, ask. We're finally there. Hey, I'm not used to people buying things for me. <laughs> We've been traveling. Um, what? How many? Two years? Yeah, and uh, well, actually, I think it's been a year and a half at this point. It's been long enough where um, I think all our funds can go to a good cause. I know I'm not giving it to some. Hobo off the street. 
Well, uh, we rolled pretty decently on the gold roll, but with our population jumping so quickly, we should start scaling upward. We have hit a point where we have, at the very least, stabilized. Yeah. Even at the moment on a not as great gold roll, with our current funds in the vault, we should be able to last. Yeah, I think we're self-sufficient, but we should mm-hmm. let this place cook for a month while we're gone. Come back, and then we can start building uh, auxiliary buildings, start decking ourselves out. Oh, wait, armor rating scales with my exposure. Uh, yeah, That's it broken. refreshes uh, whenever it's your, your turn again. So let's say One. you get hit three times and you Re- hit minus three. On uh, your next turn, it'll come back to whatever your exposure is. On top oh, of the armor. it refreshes like that. Dang. Yep. On top Cause... of your. Because uh, technically, Mana Weave is temporary um, mm-hmm. AR, so it doesn't affect your actual AR until. Uh, okay. Until also, all your temp is gone. Also, this is important. Uh, yes. As they chip away at your AR throughout, uh, throughout a round, uh, uh-huh. if they ever take away the single AR of your padded armor, like the actual AR, then yeah. the the mana weave goes away. Well, I don't have padded. It's armored. armored. Ah. It's, but, it's just a robe. It's a mage okay. robe. Maybe it works but, different then. But uh, it scales with my regret because my regret scales my exposure. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. So that's pretty, that's pretty tight. Due to yeah. the massive amounts of regret we got from getting critted a bunch of times from demons, uh, Nar <laughs> strong. I have an armor rating, including my shield rating, from being a charred one, of twenty four. Hey guys, do you guys know there's like these really big boons to owning an entire city? <laughs> what really? I also have this hammer. I need to give Weeper. I guess in that five months I'll be yelling for Gamma Black Dice. <laughs> I'm just I'm just yelling. <laughs> Get Gamma Black Dice now! Anybody got some? Just <laughs> yeah, screaming his name out. I need your help now. Do you want to go to a a nice city with a lot of worship? Okay. But, oh man. We should, we should talk to uh, the Alakan Eye chick, see if she can set up a network of magic mouth communications. On all of us? No, just like around the city for people to make communications, mm. make like an internet, like a Craigslist kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, one thing I'm sure we all actually probably forgot at some point, but is something to remember for the future, uh, is remember when we were traveling through the Endless Light, uh, we ran into the uh, the old roads, like the old world roads? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Might be worth, at least once we, you know, get chugging, to reactivate that and connect ourselves to it. Mm, oh, yeah, not too far from us, that's true, yeah. Mm-hmm. Endless White is right to our north. Mm-hmm. We see if the uh, if the magical heating activations are capable within the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can visit the, the cranes, or the, wherever, the cranes. Cairns? Yeah, Cairns, yes, that's the word. Yep, Cairns. The Molaskan oil fields up in the north. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, uh, we have all these forges, but... I, do we have any mines? I thought that was the forest district, you know. I don't fucking know. I don't remember us having any mines in the forest district. I think we can make mines with our uh auxiliaries, yeah. Yeah. I think there's a bu- bunch of shit that goes down and think we explore back. You guys ever wonder how the demons get here? Uh me too. <laughs> I didn't think demon magic or anything. We're just gonna skip over that, that's all. Um, well, we kind of gotta get the city functional again. Yeah, I think we have enough people here. We turn on the hot water. We turn on all the. The city's very functional. There's nothing's being made here. 
Yeah. And if like we don't make rent, I think the people would just pay for it because they just love it that much. Think about it. I mean, they they either do that or their hot water goes off. <laughs> That's true. We are the landlords. I'm just gonna go in, paint a wall real quick. And PP complete. Fake. Good. We should put the demons on little stone tablets and then bury them. So ten thousand years from now, somebody with spiky hair can discover them and make a trading card game based off the demons. <laughs> what else do I want? No. <laughs> You know, I mean, I understand, like, you know, I think it's a great idea and all, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll buy that too. Spend all my money. Yeah, let's pick up some axiomatic flavors. What if instead of, like, cards, we do small balls that transform into monsters? Balls. 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 I'd be okay with like spinning tops. Mm. Right, you seen that one YouTube short where they're at the EDM concert and then the guy just drops down the Beyblade thing? And they just start Beyblading. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm officially broke. <laughs> you guys just dumped your wallets out the moment you saw a positive in our income. Yeah, that's what that's what I've been holding out for. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> All the money I've been stealing from vacant houses. <laughs> Cause, cause Finally, the, as the was there. Respectful. I mean, some of that you won in, you know, Glorious Combat for the Gamber Black. Yes, 2,000 gold I did. Okay, we ready? Yeah, yeah. I, I think everyone yeah. spent the money that was going to. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. get summon Weep Black? Like, hey, I'm Nor. Yeah. This is the city we made. Yeah. I feel like she only manifests to get pulverized and then. Well, she did tell me that one time to only summon her whenever she was needed for whacking. Oh, okay. I don't know if you were like friends or something. Hi. <laughs> now I want to summon her. <laughs> Alrighty. You ready to rock? Yep. Hey, let's do it. Ready to roll. Nip, 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 nip. Yeah, I'm prepared for for any shield people and AR people. Grab a copy. Okay. Here we go. All right, so um, nearing to the end of this five days, uh, on nearly the last day, there will be a pulse that comes from Marlowe's stone. Ezekine summons you and your compatriots. Oh, we'll notify everyone. Yeah. You're gone. Beckons? Yes. Well. Not a common yeah. occurrence, so I... It's, uh, well, let's be quick about it. We've got a lot to do. Do we give him the room, or... 
give him space to reappear. Hmm. All right, I'm sorry, just give me a second. Come here, Lila. <laughs> I got a banana. Come on. <laughs> oh. there's, there's a mouse behind you. Wait, wait, wait. Don't forget our chimpanzee. They'll eat your face. Oh, yeah. Can I throw axiomatic on Brefix horns? Just kidding. I have no more gold. All right, so here we go. As um as Marlo and the his compatriots enter the stone sanctuary, you will see that a simple orb of stone rests upon the stone tablet. But behind it, a great shadow is summoned on the wall. As you approach, the great rock, the smooth stone, will rumble in greeting. A hand will carve itself on the sphere, gesturing a greeting wave. Marlo will give it a bow. And then... The area begins to rumble with Azekine's voice. A voice that is not unlike gravel grinding upon stone. A distant boulder falling from a cliff's face or the settling presence of the mountain. As it rumbles, the voice begins to speak. Greetings to those present. I speak with a rarely used voice to mark such a great occasion. There is a time of celebration. I implore you, take it. For behold, you have done a great and wonderful thing. You have restored an ancient city whose history otherwise may have been lost to this world. You have made a sanctuary of knowledge, of stone, and of creation. Long have I watched your movements. Long have I waited to see what you might do when given the temptations of this world. Here, where I have deemed appropriate in which to show you not just that I am the patient one, but that I am yet the Forge Father. With that, you will feel the stone around you start 
to shake. The altar begins to rattle until it forms a f anvil of stone. The area begins to rock and tumble as four great golems, the ones used within your city, enter the stone sanctuary. And at their lord's behest, one by one, take metal and stone. And with each falling of their hand, begin to forge. As Azekine continues, his voice melodic, almost dancing in its monotone state. A slight bit of reverence and joy in his voice, accompanied by a symphony of shaping metal and grinding stone. It was not long, not long at all, of when I was just a simple stone. It was I that wished to be more than I was. I wished for hands. I wished for eyes. I wished for wings in which to fly. But now, I am in a position where I can provide that which I wished to others. And so, do to your commitment. Your piety, your conviction, and my trust in you. Step forward, son of Kalkatesh. May this day mark your ascension. May you know that your commitment, that your guardianship that your very essence of defending that which is that which is that which is not was and met ye be shall be supported in this time I grant you a regalia befitting one in my service. With that, the falling stones cease. All right, Luke, you get to choose something here. There are four aspects of Ezekine. Each one will represent the type of armor that he has gifted you. Each one having different weights, uh, different values. All of it you will be proficient in worry about that you choose the stone shaper the forge father the patient one or the discarded each one of them will give a different aspect of as a kind's might mm -hmm. uh, as a quick synopsis of what those abilities might be uh, the Stone Shaper deals with heavy transmutation, as well as direct use of stone spells and the shaping of spell uh, shaping of stone itself. Uh, the Forge Father gives access to um, conjuration slash creation, so creation magic, making things on the fly, and also access to free forge feats. The Patient One 
is a support role, which specializes in restoring um, lost hit points. Uh, it'll couple well pretty decently with your bardic aspect, and it deals with the patience and quiet, quiet benevolence of Ezekine. And the discarded, which is a uh, regalia of sacrifice, representing um, the sacrifice of time that Ezekine has given, and the nations that he has saw rise and fall. This is a far more offensively based regalia, which will enhance your um, debilitating magics. Um, this is a uh, he's trusting me to make my own decision kind of thing or is there any that he's leaning towards it's your choice this is your reward for your faithful service oh, fuck um, I think stone shaper is the the choice to make um, I take it it's similar to Forge Father, but more specialized in stone-based fabrication. So stone shape takes the stone that's already there and can shape it, and it's focused on transmutation. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can't like summon stone walls and stuff, but its um its supernatural effects will be based off of stone stuff like that. And the um, the Forge Father is more uh, generalistic in terms of uh, creating things. It's not um... well. It'll give you access to um, creation magic, which you can just make stuff. Like you could conjure a sword if you wanted to. You could conjure a house, you know, things like that. It gives you access to the uh, creation sub school, um, and it also gives you access to free uh, crafting feats. What would be the benefits of um, Stone Shaper over Forge Father? Is in right, base right, right, one give, of my considerations. I'll, if you want, I can just okay. give you the gamer aspect. I can just tell you the the kind of the gamification of those aspects if you'd like. Um, yeah. If I might share one of my in base five e um, fabricate as the next tier of spells was something I was take would take. Only specifically because just on paper, it's better than the stone spells at making stone things. So I was wondering if that would kind of. Um, if you want to take the gamer aspect. If you want to do fabricate in order to make stone stuff, like if you want to make stone walls and like summon stone weapons or even golemancy at some point, stone shaper yeah. is the way you need to go. Okay, let's do if, that. Yeah, if you want to do like fabric. The creation is like if you wanted to make useful items that your party would use, not like things that you would expend immediately, kind of. Um, let's go all in rock. All in on rock? Rock always I, wins. As I suspected you would. Okay. <laughs> He's not a wimp. All right. Uh, <laughs> he always chooses rock. All right. There's Way no paper uh, Waymaker, I will need yes. your help later to proper properly craft this but I'm going to give the best description I can. Okay. Um, cause I can't For draw. like art? Yeah, I can't draw it. So okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try and describe it as best that I can. So <laughs> the stone sh here, actually I have reference art that I can show you, Marlo. <laughs> I may not be able to draw, but I can go to Pinterest. Pinterest. Yes. Foolish man cub. His power. Like a hey, I could redraw Marlo. His arms cut off. Yeah, yeah. Marlo, good. Oh yeah, I forget that you also draw. Sorry, Luke. I don't know yeah, why you... I forget that. <laughs> He's it's right. Mostly boobs. <laughs> it's mostly boobs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comment. Ha ha! I don't do that. I I draw a lot of things. Uh, the majority is no longer boobs. I'll say that. Okay, I have the um. The reference art that I wanted to do for Marlo. 
Okay, so it's li it's like this, but it has a few differences, and I'll show it in fan art. Um, if you look at this here, it looks like this, but with the following differences. So if you want to blow that up. So, the metal bracers are stone instead, and the pendant on the front of the robe is a singular stone, and etched into it are the attachments to the rest of the cloak. And on the back are <clears throat> runes in Terran, the language of Earth. Uh, that is essentially where he writes his stone spells. It's a part of his uh, spell repertoire. So he basically gains a spell cloak as a spell book, and it's a whole setup with the armor. But Nice. But That's yeah. cool. Oh. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Did he turn black? Just kidding. <laughs> no, so that's, that, that, that's insane armor, dude. <laughs> but anyway, yes. In addition to that, as Ezekine's might furls into this armor, he will then speak once more. Ah, Stone Shaper. An excellent choice. So it shall be your title. As you bear the weight of the power of records, of the importance of knowledge, and the recording of memory, so too shall you safeguard the stones in which we stand. May they come at your call and remove those obstacles that may yet deter you. And to your companions, long have you fought alongside my servant, and your service shall not go unrewarded. Drink deep of the wisdom of the stone, and a pulse of might will go outwards from Ezekine. Congratulations, the party has achieved level 7. Oh, boy. Oh! Hmm. Ugh. Okay. I have expended yeah. what power I could spare to manifest these gifts for you. I wish you luck, Stone Shaper. Seek the lost things in this world, and that they are remembered. Cool. But that, Ezekine, the Stone Father, will shudder and become inert once more. All right. Major story reward for conquering Malaska Dan. There you go, guys. Let's go. Nice. Well, I guess you finally got a uh, rewarded for all your service. Feel good about that? Is a uh I don't know what to feel. Uh, Laza will to have, uh, run over to Mr. Marlowe and give him a big hug. Marlowe will stand there and T-pose. <laughs> Laza does not mind and will say, You did it, Mr. Marlowe! See? I knew it! I knew it! I'm so happy for you! Oh, you look so nice in your new armor! He will start to make adjustments. Narm looks at Marlo from the other side of the shoulder and pulls her mouth into a smile and is like, come on, smile. To uh, have was... faith in a god, for that god to have faith in you is... I don't know what to say about that. 
but it is a reminder that uh, perhaps we are on the right track. Feel a little pride. Yeah, and that. You've done a lot. You've worked hard. You've earned it. There's much more to go. I think uh, we should secure these gates. Continue forward. Now we venture into uh, your land, Mr. Gruel. Yes. Uh, I won't know too much what's actually going on inside the dungeon, but once we get out, I should be able to navigate us if need be. But my assumption was that we were to uh, hold position and let Carter go. Yes? Or are we following him to the Pale City, which would be, <clears throat> in my opinion, no, a terrible idea. So. We're not following him. We're, we're keeping the gate clear. Hmm. Good. Maybe we meet trouble. Maybe it'll buy him time. Perhaps long enough for him to come back. Are we staying there? Um, we can make a decision when we get through, but hmm. I don't. I don't think so. We have many other gates to clear out. Best to think on our toes. Got it. Uh. Laza, for you to hold the gate open, do you only require yourself to be within the city, the ziggurat, or within the room itself? I will most likely need to stay at the portal, at least until you are through. And while we are through, are you able to move, or will our return also require your assistance as well? I have no idea what you're asking, Craig. Oh. How do we come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is is the gate he, just going to stay open the whole time, or do you have he, to act? That's that's why he's staying there to keep it open for you. Okay. Or at least yeah, same way we came in. Yeah. Very good. All right. Then we won't keep you waiting then. And uh, yeah, hopefully this would be a good test run for the other gates. Perhaps you can learn if there's a way for this to uh, stay open once we return. Plaza will nod. Do you right. have any other loose ends? I have all I need. I, I need to level you guys up. Hold on. Oh, yeah. And I've got to do that. Why is it two days? I'm. Yeah, it's almost like. You know, there's a milestone system, or <laughs> kind of, kind of, Ooh, kind, kind of crazy, right? Kind of weird, mm -hmm. kind of wild, like almost as if, you know, this was all kind of planned out in some way. Uh, uh -huh. uh, no. If we ate the shard, we would have level eight. <laughs> if we had armor, bam, 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 Papa Nada. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get to it. Let's start with you, Chrome. Yeah. Yes. Give me one D ten, minimum six. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Hold on. We need to get some. We need some bopping music in here. Let's let's get some. I think I just got the worst look ever. To get some like something something jammy. That's additional 8 HP. I don't think you've ever not rolled minimum. No, I've, not once. I've uh -huh. always rolled min minimum the whole time. That's rough. So has Ma. How much HP do you have right now? Uh, with this, I will have 60 HP. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I've rolled All minimum right. every single time. Veneth Tier. You have gained another level in Morngard, granting you Iron Will. Would you like mm -hmm. to explain to the chat what Iron Will does? Yeah. Iron Will, you add your Battle Hardened bonus to your Wisdom Saving Throw. That's additional three. You also gain Mundane Roll Progression, which grants you an additional equipment expertise. Yes. 
I will pick up the Great Axe. Okay. Next up is you, Mr. Marlowe. Oh, uh, is it on. min 5 for a D8? Yeah, hold on. Chrome is broken. What? His hit points are off. It's weird. Oh, 68 out of... Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, fuck. Let me take a long rest. My thing is all jacked. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead, Marlo. Uh, D8 min 5. Me in 5, yep. That's a D10. That is a D10. But you rolled a 1 anyway, so... <laughs> D8, min 5, Mr. Marlo. Roll again. Again! Oh, I clicked the button. Sorry, I clicked the button. Haha! Hey. Five! It shall be! Alrighty. I'm at 49 hit points. Okay. And you gain the Cord of Peace. Do you want to explain what that does to the good people in chat? Alrighty. Cord of Peace. Whenever I sing a song, I heal allies within 30 feet by my Charisma mod. If I cast a spell, I can use a spell slot to trigger this ability. Uh, and that many times per spell level. Yay! You also gain two additional spell selections, and you gain access to <laughs> fourth level spells. Please be excited. <laughs> um. Uh, I will pick those in the next three minutes. Okay. After Nar. Next up is no 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 north. All right, no no north. Make me uh, roll for me a one d ten. All right. Nice. Hey, nine. All right, and you gain the ability Lost Legion. Would you want to explain to that to the good people watching? Yes, Lost Legion does do I'm sorry, I'm trying to do <clears throat> uh, You may use the spell Create Undead as a supernatural ability. Uh, uh, and then they talk about it. Which basically allows me to uh, create a set of undead only during the night that I can uh, recast once a day or lose control of them. Sure hope that doesn't come up at some point. I also get an advanced fighting style, which I will pick soon. Okay. You and your nine. Are you supposed to be at 50 HP, Marlo? Um, I think 49. It showed you're at 44. You were at 44. Uh, you rolled a 5, which means you gained 6. You should be at 50. Oh, I forgot my con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. HP done. And an off should be 63. Okay, that's fixed. Twilight Mouse! Yes! Woo! Time to gain a level in Weeping Blade, motherfucker! Yes! As a weeping blade, uh, at seven Hold level, on. I get roll your HP. So many things. Ah, okay. It's uh, what is my HP? Um, D eight, minimum five. D eight, min five. Who am I? What? Seven. There we go. Hey, that's yeah. Cool. All right, and what well, do I'm you get? Get it jacked. And what do you huh. get? So weeping blades at level seven get strike unseen. Uh, if I deal damage to an enemy with a simple weapon, blowguns, long swords, rapiers, short swords, etc. Uh, I gain invisibility for one round, but because I possess the sneak attack damage class feature, I gain greater invisibility for one round instead. Oh, um, yeah. Which is pretty sick. Uh, also, as mundane, I get the equipment expertise, and I'm going to be putting it into studded leather, which should give me a uh, battle wraps trick. Um, so my dual wing bonuses to attack rolls also add this bonus to my damage rolls. Uh, I'm dual wielding uh, dueling weapons. So this bonus would increase by an additional one. Uh, and then uh, light weapons that I 
and wielding gain the dueling property. So I'm gonna be attacking more better. Attack because more of my armor. better. Do things. Be invisible. Look yeah. At you. Do crimes. Good job. So many crimes. <laughs> Nar, you gain a second level in Haunted One. Yeah. Yay! Yes, and it's a D8, not a D6. Yep, D8, minimum five. Boop. Ah. My HP is now... All right, you gain access Perfect. to Well of Misery, which does what? Well of Misery. As an action, you may spend regret to cause enemies within 30 feet of you to suffer intense guilt and anguish. For each point of regret I spend, those enemies will take 5 psychic damage. This does not have a save. This is considered a mind-affecting effect. Otherwise, I get more spells, because I'm now level 7 and I have access to more magic. That's correct. Which means you get to choose two spell slots and fourth level spells you have access to. Nice. Quick question. Yeah. For clarification, because yeah. this popped up. Regret. Does that have a limit to how much regret you can have? No. But nearly hey. every ability you use expends it. So. So there's no regret on that. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to get very high. Because unless, you, unless you just don't use your effects. True. Right. Second question was, because regret stacks with your exposure for beneficial effects, yeah. does that stack with mana weave? Uh, uh, sure, I'll let it. I'll see what happens. I don't think it's going to yeah. be that big of a deal, but we'll see. Okay. How much regret do you have right now, Nor? <laughs> Eleven, because we just fought <laughs> demons and crit a ton. <laughs> nice. What, well, does that put you at 16 base? Yeah. Yes. That's about where you need to be if you're going to be a tank caster. Sick. Alrighty. I'm actually going to run up a punch from now. I can punch you now. Anything else? Uh, no, that should cover it. Hey. Oh, let's see. Oh, I I guess I'll do Savig. Yeah, he's a mm -hmm. miller now. Oh yeah, did he retrain from the the whole yeah. procedure class? He yeah, he did over the course of a month. Yeah. Nice. Alright, Swig, this level gets He gets I know a guy. Which means he gains <laughs> Thieves Cant and he gains Frenzy and Thieves Tools. Uh, he gains advantage on rolls made to smuggle disguise or forge documents. And since he possesses Alkana. He can, decide, he can disguise his spellcasting with a different type of exposure. This includes the exposure that he leaves behind. So he can make his exposure appear as anything. Hmm. Uh, he also gains access to fourth level spells. Wow. Oh, he does, even with the Wanderer passive? What? Uh, oh, right, he switched. Uh, no, he didn't then. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so he stays at third? Gotcha. He gets instead... Uh, skill aptitude. He gets skill aptitude, yeah. He gets to do rogue stuff. Skill stuff. Which, uh, I guess I'll let him choose that whenever he's back. A skill monkey, you might say. <laughs> I can't even take the silence that long. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna hey, interrupt hey, myself. I, I do want you to know that you're going to watch this man climb a house as a monkey and then like thieves tools his way through a window. Mm -hmm. Good, good. That's exactly what I thought a druid rogue would do. <laughs> so, <laughs> as a monkey, though, no, no, as a horse. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that'd be harder, but still pretty. He'll just, pretty he'll just Skyrim his yeah. way up the house. Yeah. The Death Horse. <laughs> yeah, the window again, Ma. The Death Horse is inevitable. It'll show up on the third story. <laughs> it just give him Grandma. Whoa, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Well, while you guys go over your new abilities and pick your new spells and all that good stuff, um, I'm going to make Marlo's Stone Shaper item real quick. Ooh, I gotta yep. see if my save works. Nice. Plus three. I'm That's grabbing so. um, Fabricate and Summon Elemental. <laughs> and it'll be of the rock variety. Yeah, no. Summon, summoning <laughs> rock. Yeah, really? You're gonna summon Earth Elemental? That's better. I'm juiced up on saves. Just don't don't hit me, please. Battle rats. I'm bringing out Big Show. Don't worry about it. Let's see if my damage works too. Nice. So many spells. My gosh. Big show works now. Yes. Triple double show. Eight, two, ten. All right. That's all working. Anybody got some dead bodies lying around? That's no. Three plus can, three. I, there should be another plus two there, yes. Let me check my inventory over. Yeah, no, no. No dead body. I, just, I destroy all my dead bodies. <laughs> if I had any, they would be under my control. Let's see. I about taking Death Ward. Because if you guys die, you'd explode. But I was like, that's a very valuable spell slot. That could be used on making rocks. Uh, Death Ward doesn't work on us because we don't die. Correct. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I've already been through that one. Sorry. You are destroyed. Well, I mean, hey, if we ever get the amphitheater up and running, we'll see if there's an undead variant. Why, why is there all these orders for more rock specific spells above them? <laughs> so there's that, and then that. There we go. It'd be great if I summon an earth elemental and it's just an elephant man and I treat him really nicely. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's just stone laza. I'm like, man, you're such a good friend. I love you, stone laza. <laughs> man, now that wouldn't make it hurt his feelings or anything. <laughs> fucking devastate this dude. Wow. Oh, wait. If he knows thieves can't, that means he can just run up to you as a monkey, throw gang signs. <laughs> yes. Uh, now you can communicate to two people. A monkey. Uh, How would a horse thieves can? Oh, yeah. Twilight Mouse and uh, him can speak in money monkey form now. Since. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Nice. Cool. All right. I've got my my stuff fixed to work with um with my with my powers. Your, your powers? Are, they, are we like the Avengers or something? Yeah. Man, this item is so sick. Yeah, I still set up for him, nice.
there a fourth level spell that summons a rabbit woman that reciprocates affection? <laughs> <laughs> no. Here I'll DM Swig, telling him he's got his level, his level. Fourth level stone skin. <laughs> <laughs> what a what an interesting stone spell I have stumbled across. <laughs> Oof, diamond dust worth a hundred GP. Yeah, we gotta make sure that Swig's carrying a bunch of the diamond dust just in case. He should have all of them on him. Like eight of them, I think. Uh, diamond dust? I think we only got like 1800. Hmm. Which is like three uses of spell, so it'll be fine. Oh, it's um, the spell components measured in GP value? Yes, it's 500 GP value. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah. yeah, so it's 1600, so that's three uses of Revivify. With the BB, with the Okay, we should wait for you to the BB. Don't do BB from that thing there. Are you proficient in climbing kit, uh, toilet mouse? I'm not. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'll I'm, keep it on. I'm proficient in disguise kit and poisoner's kit. Ah, uh, sure. And these tools. Do well, I own them? I own these tools, but I am not currently proficient in them. Hmm, okay. Yeah. I, I would have had it originally as a as a rogue, but I I trained out of it for um for poisoner's kit. Gotcha. Makes sense, makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. It's alright. If you can't break if you can't uh, unlock the lock, I'll just break the lock. There you go. Here we go. Now we're all gonna see who's the first to die. Back to my baby. Very good, very good. I don't know, what will we do without you, bud? There's orange dot on my forehead. Yep. Hey. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Alrighty! <laughs> he like gave up halfway through. You ready? Yeah. Yep, yep. It's motherfucking artifact time. Ooh. 
It pays to be in service to a god. And be successful. <laughs> there is no paper scissors here. There is no paper scissors here. Only rock. All right. The Stone Shaper's Mantle. Uh, give me a moment. I'll turn the music down a little bit so we can go over it together. Artifact. Uh, this takes both the armor, robe, and head slot. So you cannot equip anything else in those areas while wearing this. Whenever you would cast a Transmutation, Conjuration, or Evocation spell, you gain temporary hit points equal to the spell level of that spell. This stacks with itself, but not other sources. Catapult becomes a cantrip for you. You can only throw stones, rocks, minerals, and other objects of this nature when cast this way. You can cast Earthen Grasp as a bonus action. You may cast this in the same turn that you cast another leveled spell. To be clear, that it doesn't give you a free use. That just means if you cast that spell, you cast it as a bonus action. Uh, you can cast Stone Shape as a ritual spell. You are immune to the effects of Wall of Sand. You can cast Wall of Stone once per long rest. This item gives a constant exposure of 9. If you are a follower of Ezekine, reduce this exposure by 4. As this was made for Marlow by the Forge Father himself, he reduces it by 6, giving a grand total of constant exposure of 3. No oh, shit. Nice. Nice. Whew. Have a rockin' good time. My man. I didn't. Just gotta hope we don't run into some druid who puts one exposure on you. <laughs> hug, hug our druid. That is your one and only job. Wait, do you have apotheosis, Marley? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. okay. Never mind then. All is well. <laughs> If I blow up, I blow up. Fucking, I'll go out <laughs> rocking. I would be depressed if you did not wear the stone shaper's mantle. <laughs> no, but this thing's fun. Like, yeah, if I blow up because of exposure, fuck it. I blow up going out like a fucking champion. Doing doing rock shit. I want to cast rock. Yeah. I just if I wait. just hug your exploding body and yo coast. Right? <laughs> I just no. realized... Wait, that only affects me. Damn it. <laughs> if catapult's a cantrip, so you can just... You can mana weave catapult and then just add a full level catapult on top of that, eh? What? Uh, I think so. I have the, to... The... When, it, when you I have cast... to rebuild my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. After when, when you cast it as a cantrip, it's a cantrip. And functions yeah. as a cantrip. Yeah, I was talking about his, like, spell and sword thing where he can, if he's got enough exposure, he can cast a spell with an attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Wild. Yeah, so instead of taking the uh, spell slot of my rock barrage thing, I just take the cantrip slot and I could, like, do an earthen grasp or something. Use nice. catapult and throw rocks at people. Big ones. Big old boulders. This is what you wanted, right? Hmm. Rocking. He's Good. he's processing. <laughs> nice. Mm, man. Wink. Gave an artifact. You guys are level seven. Oh man, I get to do fun stuff in the next dungeon. <laughs> oh! Oh! Sorry. It'll be Why do I suddenly it. feel concerned? It, it'll be fine. We'll have a contingent of 40 Metharians. It'll be great. It'll be easy. Yeah, if they're close to death, I'll, I'll tell them to come come by us. The undead. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I don't specifically remember Arcadum ever mentioning this being an entire super dungeon. It's fine. I did, though. We're good. I mentioned that before. Ah, shush. Hmm. Before we go anywhere, I'm going to drop off a couple of notes with Laza. Uh, they're basically two parts of a message to my parents that they should have together. Yeah, and hopefully right. have enough 
enough information in them for if one of them didn't make it. <laughs> I guess I'll write invent invent a girl. So a letter. That's the only person I really know. The vampire? Yes. The vampire. It's, I don't have anyone in the live. Uh, apparently it's a that foreigner undead drinks blood. Yeah, you, you you've talked about I it guess before. I'll write a letter to the vampire lady. <laughs> uh, are we writing letters before we head out? Kiss, kiss, you might kiss, as well. Can. I know sending. Like where we I mean, everyone, I know is dead, even the vamp you... vampire. Oh, yeah. I'll drop the reference yeah. for Marlow Stone Shaper mantle in uh in uh uh -oh. uh oh, did I delete it? Uh oh. Just so you don't explode. It's an art. T teach me sending. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know. Watch him do a single sending. Oh, is. Well, no, Swig is right here. Don't shape as a ritual is fucking rad. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, immune to the effects of wall sand. Now you can stand oh. in the sand, baby. I'll write up a... He's like an Hold on a Earth second. Genasi. I'm like Gara, but attractive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, uh, one thing about stone shape. When cast as a ritual, it is... 10 minutes per spell level. So it's 40 minutes. So it's not something you can do like you know, yeah, minutes, quickly. Like but, on the fly. Yeah, yeah. Sand coffin. <laughs> but if you come up to like a troublesome wall or something, you could be like, all right, guys, give me a second to whisper to the stones and tell them to stop being naughty. Make a hole. I'll put my hand on them like, I have breakfast. Don't worry about it. We'll just all fly over. <laughs> Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. I need this. I need this. <laughs> I'll wait. Let me fly in my giant pig. Why do you think I gave them wings? <laughs> giant pig! Breakfast, you miss your level up. Breakfast! Breakfast! Now snap in uh, reality. Is, oh. is uh, summon elemental a soul bound thing? Is it rolled on a table and bound to the character, or was it? Um, do I conjure like a CR equivalent? All right. So when it comes to hard summoning like that, it is entirely dependent on how you go about that. If you cast the spell just as it is, it's a randomly determined creature of that type that gets summoned. But you can learn, like, the names of those types of creatures and then choose to summon only them. You get what I mean? Okay, okay. Yeah, so if you don't know the name of any Earth Elementals, you just summon a Earth Elemental. It just, you just grab one out of the fucking slot, right? But if you, like... Bob from accounting. Yeah, but let's say you, like, met one and you learned its true name. If you have the capacity in which to anchor it, which means you're a high enough level character, you can summon it. With a spell like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's basically how it works. Does Exokine count as an Earth Elemental? <laughs> <laughs> well, Exokine. no. No, he does no. He is not. <laughs> He's Exokine, no I choose you. No, no, he no. E e no, no. Ezekine summons Marlo, not the other way around. That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, well, actually, would. Laza know the any names of some elementals of stone? Uh, he only knows the names of Minotaurs and the Aunt Vanti. Smile. <laughs> no, he doesn't know any. He's yeah, not a uh, he's not a summoner. Nor will at some point. He's a divination Marlo. specialist. Nation. Ah, wizard. 
Darvel at some point pour Marlo aside and be like, Hey, we've been reaching out to people. Um, should I send a message to the Toad King? Um, yeah, if you think it's a wise idea. I mean, we've 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 got a druid here who built an entire dream grove, and I think the Toad King would like to know about all that. Yeah, uh, we've met a lot of people. I've been thoroughly distracted. A lot of those relationships are kind of out of sight, out of mind for me at the most part. Mm. That's fair. But, uh, That's fair. Do you have the facilities? Do you know the sending spell? Uh, no. Or but you can teach it to me. Scroll. <laughs> scroll. All right. All right. Let's see. Do you know how to read? Ah, uh, you taught me that back whenever we were at the Black Fire's place. Right, okay. <laughs> Learns the spell. <laughs> I'll just put this in notes. Man, what a great episode. <laughs> what do you think kind of people we see over by the Pill City? I got it. What's up? Oh no, I'm just, I'm just saying out loud. Oh, okay. No one responded to me. I, I, I missed it. <laughs> I think happening in the Pale City. Or what kind of people we'll see. Mm. We're going to the Ice Hunter, though. It's true. So, If we were to go to the Pale City, we'd see the good and the bad all mixed together in one. God, I have so much work for Waymaker. Oh, fuck, dude. Wouldn't it be funny if we saw one of the weeping or smiling right. knights again? <laughs> I think the sheer bureaucracy of trying to get past toll roads and things would be just a waste of our time. I'm just glad to be back on my regular art schedule. Uh, I have much to do. I'm glad you're in back. In the first place. <laughs> I'm glad you're <laughs> back, too. buddy. I have so much work for you. Hope you're ready. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So, so excited. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo. I've put that in notes. Done. And I've got my spells. Oh man. Nanonoth's loaded up with the old art of him. <laughs> like when I scroll over his portrait. Man. Back when right. he was back when he was grueling yeah. he was I mean had life. Yeah, he's living. like he was smiling. Yeah, he had life in him. He had life in him. Phys physically and metaphorically. <laughs> he, he had a functional penis. I honestly see a lot of the old art whenever I scroll over people, and it's it's nostalgic every time. I love it. Yeah, I got season one art when you hover over me. That's so so good. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I am. I feel so bad that I killed <laughs> Nenonoff that one time. <laughs> Isn't your mother at the ice I under? Just gasp. In response, Swig will turn into a shark. <laughs> Remember when he did that? He'll be like, "Hey, Marlo." He's holding his breath. Marlo. Hey, yo. Summon a wall of sand. Okay. Sand shark starts swimming around at <laughs> it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah. Look at me go. I can't see shit. <laughs> I'm this forcing my wrong. horns and his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's blind the whole time. I'm a shark! I'm gonna tickle his ear with my hat. I'm gonna stab his eyes. My horns. <laughs> is he, like, muted? Is he gone? I don't, I don't, I don't know where he is. Let's all pick on Craig. I'm pick worried about Nenonoth. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm writing notes. Leave me alone. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm writing <laughs> notes this <laughs> whole time. Be, like, we're just quiet for a second. Are you gonna be all... <laughs> It's an MMO. We're all over here. With his body while crazy. <laughs> we're all tea bagging him. Now. <laughs> that's how you know. If that's... they all stand on top of. That's how you know they're your real friends. You're AFK for two seconds. They're just tea bagging. Oh no! I stand over him. If we all <laughs> just, if we all just stand on top of him. Yeah, look. He'll right, never right. be able to reach. Oh, his dude, dude! Again. Everybody just hide behind him and hide behind his hood, dude. <laughs> No one will the ever only know. saving grace is that <laughs> Ooh, ooh I want in there. 
<laughs> no one will ever know. No one will ever know. Mr. Laza, Mr. Laza, dogpile. Yay! Are, are we group hugging? Yes. Yes. This is the equivalent <laughs> of a group hug. Marlo, you're now part of a group hug. Congratulations. Uses trunk mm, that's, grabs. That's not him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> he doesn't have any athletics. Ah! <laughs> what the hell's going on? Oh, I'll come Oops. back later. We're playing. Wait, no, get Weeple back in on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, open hair. yeah, get Weeple back to come in here and grab my hair. What? What? <laughs> what? What? You said you you said you can summon her when she wants to smash, right? <laughs> no, black. That's not better. You see how that's not better, right? Eh. All right. So everybody's gotten their levels. They've gotten their artifact, and you guys are ready to head to the ice under. Yes. 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 Okay. Yep. Oh Going boy! Through the portal. Through the little bit of a portal. All breakfast over. Breakfast. Naps in existence. Oink. Oink. Where is he? Oh, it might be. Oh, 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 oh my god. Which Hello. map? Which map was he on last? Uh. uh he could have been the uh, the by the uh when we first met Carter. Maybe. Let's see if I can so we... find where I put him. I put him in here somewhere. Uh, how much does it cost to remove a tattoo? <laughs> oh, it doesn't. It doesn't That's cost. A sentence. It doesn't cost anything extra. It costs. Um, I think it's half, half the cost of the original tattoo. Okay. Well, I'll spend the money I was going to spend on the um, armor, and I'll do that to remove the stone hand tattoo, so I'm back at the same exposure. Yeah. Nice. I think hanging out at nine might be a little. Yeah, it's a little, but how much does that put you back down? What two? Two six. Oh, yes. oh put you all the oh, way back to six. Good barrel of laughs. Yep, barrel's here. Barrel. Hello, <laughs> I have returned. Breakfast and I were exploring the city. There's a hilarious story that breakfast told me. Would you like to hear it? Yes. While the mouse sits you know, down. Silence. Oh. Very well. <laughs> no, I didn't pick that one up. It started like this. Picked oink, up oink, a oink, shield. oink, oink. Growl, growl, grunt, grunt. Oink, 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 growl, grunt. Grunt, <laughs> grunt, growl. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, flex, flex. Oink, oink. Soft, flatulent shit. Oink, <laughs> oink. Grab, grab. Oink, gore, gore. Oink, oink, grunt. Oinky. <laughs> we, um, we, we, we. I'm sorry. That made me. <laughs> that, dest that destroyed my. <laughs> Adding that one to my repertoire. I don't know if you guys heard the, the fake noise watch. I was making. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just echoed into the distance, and I was like, oh no. We, we. That was him laughing. Uh, what were you asking, Marla? I'll cast, I'll cast Fabricate on Barrel of Laughs. <laughs> okay. What would you oh, like to no. fabricate? Uh, Craig, do I have permission to remove the mouth from your mouth? <laughs> um, he doesn't. You have wood crafting. Mouth, but... <laughs> you fabricate a cork and put it in his mouth hole. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've already tried that. He doesn't actually speak through a mouth. It's just like matter echoes Very throughout well. his entire body. Barrel of laughs will now be silent. Wait, you could just. I've asked Look you what you've done. times, and Marlo asked once, and you do it? It's Look. a pretty man privilege. Look what you've done. <laughs> Take all the fun out of Barrel of Laughs. It. I've, I've had to deal with him for three months, and you ask him once. Why do I feel like this is going to be the biggest prank he's going to ever pull? I have a level <laughs> of masculine assertiveness in my voice. Do. Hey, do you got a better reason? <laughs> like a believable one? I don't, I don't know, man. 
Mm. Oink! I feel like it's... I don't know, maybe some new meta joke or something. I just wanted to show off how absurd breakfast is, once again, to anybody who hasn't seen him before. <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah. imagine, it, so imagine cool. if that is your fucking mount. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, I'm riding on the back of a demon pig named Breakfast. <laughs> I had so much fun. You have no idea. He's so <laughs> swolled. <laughs> He's distant. His pig a hog. His <laughs> hog rider. My pig a hog. My pig a hog. My hogasis. <laughs> hogasis. This is the size of uh, Chrome's hog right here. Oh man. Vroom, vroom. Those are two sixes. That's pretty good. All right. All right. So, party is ready to head to the ice under. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The father's hammer and case full disclosure. Weep whack. Uh, I need to have those maps made. So. Okay. That's all I got for you tonight. Also, you're down a person, and I'm not sending you into the ice under down a person. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, Fair enough. Especially when somebody doesn't know their new abilities yet. I yeah. hope I hope that lurker is not blasted out of his mind next time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> One can only hope. Anyway. No guarantees. What a solid session. Hey. That was awesome. Yeah. I hope he had a good time. He probably Love. did, if he remembers it. Uh, he is still fucked. His response. Okay. Good. Good to hear, I guess. Alright, we'll see if we got any fan art. Is there any fanid art? Uh, sadly. Sadly? Ooh, oh I'm my going. goodness. I'm ah. going, I'm looking in the fan art. I'm being delayed. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel mildly Classic. horrified. Uh, here we go. Some dude, this fucking shit post is so. <laughs> 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 All right, first Marvel. up, first what? What the cam? Please. We have Marlo's. <laughs> first up, we have Marlo armor. retraining into a great sword. I can't have it. I'll be coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's no law against Marl Marlo Punny Twilight. There's no Man. law against it. <laughs> no, we're gonna make him though. I would that's not hey it. That's gonna get expunged immediately. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> the death horse is coming for us all. Dude. <laughs> Laza and his noble savage world. Oh my god, dude. Uh, Proling crits while testing weapons. Very good. <laughs> and, here's the, uh, and here's the probably fan art, or excuse me, the probably AI art I found of what I think Marlo's like, regalia should look like. Looks very good, in my opinion. That's the actual Marlo right there. Wow. I think it's real art. He has he has normal fingers. Oh, it might be. I wonder who drew him. Mm. I have no idea. Yeah, that's probably real art. I can. His eyes are focused. Hmm. Yeah, his eyes are focused. So. Well. Could be. They're getting better. Pinterest said <laughs> Pinterest said it was AR art, so I thought it was okay to use it. I'm sorry. Please don't sue yeah. me. I didn't mean to. I have no way of knowing. The the AI is getting scary these days, man. It's getting harder and harder to tell. I was playing around with AI music recently. Mm -hmm. Gosh, man. It, it's frightening how, how actually good it is. Super weird. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. You guys are great, and I'll catch you next time. Sweet. See you, everybody. Bye.